Hey guys, it's Swoolly from SwartyPanda.com. Welcome back, little bears. Oof, so today was a kind of a rough day. Um, it's October 2020 expiration, and it, it started off okay, and then um, the market took a big hit. Um, and that that brings me to today, today's topic: um, how you could make money trading without trading much. So sometimes as a trader, uh, it can get a little rough. Um, you might not feel so good and then you might need to take a little break. But at the same time, you still have to keep your money invested. Um, so sometimes you have to kind of cut back in your trading. But at the same time, you still want to make some money from trading. So there are five um, exchanges that, that trade publicly on in the United States so I'm just gonna go over well actually um, there are five that I know of that that are trade publicly in the United States um, so the first one I'm gonna go over is the SIBO uh, the ticker symbol is CBOE and of course they're famous for their uh, option exchanges but they also have um, uh, the BATS and I, I believe uh, altogether four uh, regional um, stock exchanges and right now the price is around $84 and the dividend yields around 2% and they pay uh, they have weekly options the next one is the CME uh, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange um, so obviously it's a future exchange um, they're right now they're trading around 167 also around 2% dividend and they also have weekly options and next we have the ICE. Uh, they also have options. Uh, excuse me, options. They, they also have uh, futures trading, but they also own the New York Stock Exchange. And their their dividend yields around 1.18%. percent um, their the options liquidity is okay. It's not the greatest, but it, it's 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 doable. Next is the uh, market access. Uh, ticker symbol is. MKTX and they are a bond exchange um, right now the it's a little pricey at 538 and the dividend yield is 0.44 so it's a little skimpy and the options are kind of wide but that could change in a few years when I expect interest rates to eventually go up um, probably not until maybe 2023 ish uh, but but who knows? Um, but anyway, in any case, uh, when interest rates do go up, uh, there could probably be a lot of uh, bond volatility, especially with corporate bonds. And of course, as a bond exchange, they don't care as much. They just care that um, there's there's activity and and that could change in a few few years. So and then the next one is the Nasdaq NDAQ. Um, Right now, I think we're in probably not a tech meltdown, um, but I think we're we're kind of bubblish. Um, we but but that we could have another uh, maybe another year or two, uh, depending on how how well, what the Federal Reserve does. Um, they'll probably keep. Uh, interest rates at zero for a little bit um, even at their meetings I think the the next time they'll consider maybe raising rates is maybe uh, 2023 and that that should give uh, stocks um, especially tech stocks um, quite a bit more um, room to move um, there of course uh, it could get a little bit rocky um, I, I guess like the last big tech uh, bubble and then the subsequent meltdown was back in 2000 um, I was just a you know college kid at that point and had no money so I couldn't really take advantage but um, I'm not saying that there will be a, a huge massive um, uh, a meltdown but you, you just never know um, hopefully um, we'll get chances to to profit off of that as options traders um, we can sell a lot of volatility but um i'll keep it posted as as things uh, go on so let me just recap real quick 
Um, oh, so the Nasdaq is, is trading around 128, and it's it's a decent uh, dividend, 1.53 percent. I mean, comparatively speaking, and so you have the CBO, uh, CBOE ticker symbol, and CME the ticker symbol CME, uh, ICE the ticker symbol is ICE, uh, market access um, MKTX ticker symbol, and the Nasdaq. Uh, the ticker symbols NDAQ. Um, out of the five so far that I've mentioned, um, I, I've traded these these stocks uh, uh, prior and uh, before. And my favorite one so far is the SIBO in terms of um, just relative value as the highest dividend yield. Well, th that that could change. Uh, CBOE and the CME could could swap. They're both around two percent. So. Depending on how you trade it, um, I personally just sold a CBOE uh, November uh, put, and you might be able to get better prices. So that's why I'm not going to tell you the strike. Um, it depends on what what it does, um, and I can see myself trading these uh, exchanges. Um, uh, not as ha hardcore uh, because they're they are exchanges so i expect their businesses to be quite robust no matter what the market does um they make more money as uh you know as volume increases so i can see myself trading this um either either through cash secure puts or the wheel of fortune strategy and so so far right now the the SIBO is my favorite so far but that could change depending on how people uh trade and what their trading pro uh, preferences in terms of products are so you know there's a lot of people that are in the markets right now um they're they're, they're probably learning um some people like the i guess like the more risky um type type of assets so i expect an the Nasdaq and the SIBO to um, do quite well and I just want to give a special shout out to uh, Liz and Jenny from the Tasty Trade uh, Network um, last night they had a special with uh, Tony from Mexico and they had a uh, Tony from Mexico had a really good good segment he, he brought out um, what he called a, a, I believe the 441 uh, hedging strategy it was pretty interesting so you buy four um, put debit spreads uh, in the SPY uh, $5 wide four times and then you you do it for about a buck each so one times four is about four dollar debit and then you, you finance that by selling uh, slightly further out uh, put or 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 down um, at around four dollars to kind of offset the cost. So you basically have uh, a free hedge. So I thought that was a pretty interesting tr strategy, and I just tried that out um, uh, just just in a small size, uh, just to test it out, and it seems pretty interesting. Um, so I just want to give them a mention. I'll link their. Um, the presentation uh, down below and guys if you want uh, more of this type of content let me know uh, or maybe you want me to discuss other strategies I'll be happy to do that uh, please like and subscribe and right now I would like you know my first batch of subscribers so I'm planning to do maybe something special for those subscribers um, so maybe some type of like Q&A or maybe want me to go over um, maybe in a general sense like uh, how your portfolio is doing. Um, so we'll, we'll figure it out as, as we go along. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.